Now, I know a lot of you guys who watch our channel are gamers, and that's exactly why I wanted to show you this right here. This is one of the latest game routers from ASUS, and it's the ROG Rapture GTX 6000 Wi-Fi 6 router. So heaps of features that prioritize gaming traffic through the network, and we're gonna see exactly how it does that. Let's check it out. Now, essentially, all routers do the same thing. There's the hardware and the software working together, which makes this router here excel, especially when it comes to gaming. So some of the latest technology with a quad core two gigahertz processor, which can manage up to 6,000 megabits per second over Wi-Fi 6 across both the 5G and 2.4G channels. If you are a bit old school, we've still got four one gig ports on the back, of which one is a gaming port, and we'll actually touch on that one a little bit later. We've also got a 2.5 gig port and a 2.5 gig WAN port as well. Now we've had a look at the hardware side of things, now we're gonna check out the software. And to do that, we're gonna jump into the router dashboard. Inside here, we're gonna go down to game acceleration, and this is where we can get all that gaming priority set up. We're gonna scroll down to game boost, we're gonna turn this one on, and it's gonna apply settings to prioritize any gaming traffic that runs through the router, whether it be a PC, console, or even a mobile device. Even furthermore, we can actually select specific devices to be prioritized. So we're gonna go into gaming gear here, and any, de any device that is connected to the router or even was connected in the past will appear in this list. You can simply select it, apply, and it will also get priority across all the networks. So we've just turned on the game boost, and it, as you can see, it was pretty easy but if you still want that more simple plug and play solution that is available, and that's with the gaming priority port that's on the back. So what that'll do is it'll make sure that the connected device gets priority. It doesn't matter how many people are at home chewing up the bandwidth, that device will get exactly what it needs for a nice stable connection. We can also utilize VPNs via external service providers like Outfox, and what that'll do is it'll provide a faster and more stable path to the gaming servers. And this is actually super useful for a lot of new games or even the small indie games that might not have local servers available for you to play on. Now there is heaps of other settings inside the dashboard here which will help with the gaming side of things, but I just won't have time to cover them all today. However, there is one more thing I want to point out and that's the AI mesh feature. So what this will do is it'll allow you to connect multiple ASUS routers together to form a mesh system throughout your own home. Now, where this differs from other routers is that we can freely mix and match between compliant devices for what best suits our needs and our environment. All the while, we still get to enjoy those great features from the main router across all the connected nodes. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you do have any questions, then don't hesitate to leave me one in the comments below. If you do want to find out more about the ASUS ROG Rapture GTX 6000 Wi-Fi 6 gaming router, I'll leave a few links down there as well. As always, Thanks for watching.